it is early morning i wouldn't say early morning but i have the day off today i do have to go do some errands later on but i did want to record some stuff um so one of the things that i wanted to record today was my beauty room closet tour i guess because i haven't really updated that video and i'm already done with it so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go in there and then there's also another project that i may include in this little mini i'm gonna call it vlog style because i have some meal prepping um to do later on but i also have to finish a project of my little spooky house that i have in my entryway i guess you could say that is a permanent decor and we've been trying to work on it little by little so for now let's go ahead and take a look at the final process i wouldn't say final because i still have some stuff i want to put in the makeup room but let's go ahead and take a tour okay so my closet um so this is the bathroom right and this closet is a walk-in closet but what we ended up doing was we turned it into my own little beauty room so we're gonna go ahead we're going to open it um you can definitely see the horrible pink job i did but let's go ahead let's put some lights on let's see what we have so let's start with, let's start with the unnecessary items so right here i have some bags that i cannot hang or i haven't had a chance to hang I have my Cricut machine, the Easy Press, my computer, which I don't know what I'm going to do with because it's it won't update anymore. I've had that since like 2012 or something like that. And then we just have the safe. Up top, we have all of my lounge fly backpacks. I love them dearly. So that is what we have up there. So now when you look over here, you're going to see this little area that I put. So if you look inside here, I have all of my body care item that I'm trying to use up. And then right here, you can see I got this from a coworker who is Hawaiian and she gave it to me. So I left it dried and I just love the way that it looks. Over here, we have some crystals that I got made into a necklace. And then this was a pom-pom that came on my birthday cake that I took. Off to the side, I do have this. So we have some sage to cleanse the house. This is my little jewelry holder. This actually belongs to my sister. She is in Germany right now. So the idea is to replace this with my own elephant. For now, I just use it for um, jewelry. I do have another crystal, a little candle, a plant. And then I have some fragrances that I got off of Etsy. A little thing that holds my um, lash serum and brow. Then I got this from a coworker for Halloween. She knows that I love Halloween, so she gave me that. And then I have this with all of my crystals inside. And then this bag is actually stuff that I need to give away. And then right here, I have <laughs> who we call, let me focus on her. The name is Chester. So we've had this skull for years. Um, so I finally put her in here and now we're going to name her Chestina. Okay, don't judge us. So she holds the glasses that I don't wear. I just have it taped up. I don't wear these because I never got the glare protection. So it's just pointless. She also holds my necklace and my bow that I could switch out. I do have some scary books and then my everyday um, chapstick and things like that. So if you go to this side, you will see this is the wall that has all of my fragrances. Um, what I want to do is up there, I want to get some photos, but I don't know what yet. So right here, that is the tripod that I record with. I have my glasses, a napkin that I didn't take out of there, um, little headbands. And then in here, these are actually just fragrances that I want to use up and finish. And then off to the side, I have all of my lip glosses and things like that. 
And then off to this side, you see my husband's fragrance collection with Frankenstein in the background. And then you have all of my makeup. And then some more fragrances. These are more of my affordable fragrances. And then off to the corner, these are actually my pimple patches. And then I have all of my hair clips and things in there. And then this is where I get ready every morning. I have my little spooky things up there. And then I have my mirror, which I got off of Amazon. I don't know if I'll link it because when I tried to show a friend, they didn't have it anymore. I did get this table from Target and it was pretty cheap. I do have my scale, which I need to put it away. And then the chair that I've had for almost four or five years that I got from Ikea. Off to the side, um, unfortunately enough, we have this ugly internet connection here, but I'm the only one that comes in here. I do have this tray right here, so when I get ready in the morning, I pop up my iPad, and this is where I get ready every morning. I don't know about you, but you let me know I cannot get ready in silence whatsoever. Something has to be playing in the background. So right here, I have my fan for when I get hot. Then I have all of my makeup brushes, and then I have my makeup sponges and all that stuff. And then down here, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes, and then I have a fridge that holds all of my skincare bougie. I know I've always wanted one, and Walmart had one for $15, so I couldn't really... <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I just went ahead and I got it. So that is what my beauty room looks like at the moment. <sighs> like I said, the only thing that I really want to do is put like a drawing or something right here. And I do want to add some bats right here. Um, I tried so hard to think about what I wanted in my background. I wanted it to be pretty, but I wanted it to be me. So I think I was overthinking it. And this right here fits me well. I just need something here because whenever, if you see my previous videos, you'll see that it's almost somewhat empty. And I think bats is what is going to do it. So that is the makeup room. So let me show you the other project that I want to do. And you'll see why I say bats because I, I actually have some. But the other project that I want to work on is actually this. So this baby I got off of Facebook Market. My sister was the one who helped me. This is actually an Elsa house. So let's put it, let me put the light on. So if you look at it, it has, we colored it black. And we do have some things on the inside to make it our little spooky home. I know it's kind of unfocused right now, um, but we did do it a little bit at a time. We did this in the corner where it holds all the little killing supplies um, and so on. And then down here, it holds all of my spooky mugs that I have. And then this is more of my husband's side as well and then down here is just storage so what i want to do is as you can see my husband put some popsicle sticks on the window i would like to put some more but i really want to put cobwebs um on here as well so we may work on this for like half hour today and see how far I get. But yes, this is a permanent decor that stays in our house and it will travel with us.
Okay, so I just want to show you the progress I made on it so far. This is what I did. I'm not going to finish any more today because I do got to go to Dollar Tree because we want to get some tea lights so that we could go ahead and illuminate the inside. Um, I think that is it. I was going to add some popsicle sticks up there, but I think I like the way it looks without it and the cobwebs. So I think once we get the tree, the, the little lights, well, the only thing I want to do is really do some DIYs, little like spooky trees on the side to kind of make it a little bit more, I don't know, more bam, I guess. But yeah, this is it.